Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to write a Java code to print all prime numbers between 1 to 100. So this is a, a very good question, a good question in terms of interview, good question in terms of solving this problem. So uh, in this uh, tutorial uh, we see the basic approach uh, to print all prime numbers between 1 to 100 and in my next tutorial we are going to focus on uh, another optimized algo sieves algorithm to print all uh, prime numbers between uh, 1 to n so let's uh, understand what is prime number and how we are going to print all prime numbers between 1 to 100 so a prime number is a whole number uh, which is greater than 1 and whose only factors are 1 and itself so a number which is divisible by 1 and itself is a prime number and it's greater than 1 so 2 is the only even prime number remember so here is few prime numbers which I have written down 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. All are those numbers are divisible by 1 and itself only. So let's understand how we are going to write a, a Java code to print all prime numbers between given range. So here I have taken uh, 1 to 100 but in general uh, you can uh, uh, print a prime numbers between 1 to n and the value of n can be anything it might be 100 200 300 thousand so let's uh, run a code so uh, what I have done is I have run a loop from 2 to 100 so uh, why 2 so prime number is always greater than uh, 1 and so we uh, I have uh, run a loop from 2 to 100 and here I have taken one flag as prime whose initial value is true and now I have run another loop to check whether it is divisible by any other number other than 1 and itself so I have uh, started a loop from uh, 2 and so for example the value of i is 5 so we are checking whether a 5 is prime number or not so uh, this logic will run up a loop from 2 to 4 and divide a number 5 with 2 3 and 4 to check whether it is divisible by any other number other than 1 in itself if it is then uh, what I have done is is prime flag is false and then I have break the loop so let's uh, now suppose the value of i is 8 and we started running a loop from 2 to 2 to less than 8 which is 7 so uh, when 8 is the val initial value of j is 2 so 8 is divisible by 2 yes so s prime is false so this number won't be printed now the next number will be 9 and this loop will run from 2 to 8 so 2 is divisible uh, so 9 is divisible by 2 no 9 is divisible by 3 as the value of g will be incremented till 8 and so in next 3 is divisible by 9 yes so s prime is false so next number now in this way next number is suppose 11 this inner loop will run from 2 to 10 to verify whether this number is divisible by any other number between 2, uh, 2 to 10 so 11 is divisible by 2 no 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it's not divisible by any number other than 1 and itself so s prime the initial value of s prime is true so it won't be false so 11 is printed so in this way this logic will run so this is a number and this inner logic will check whether it is divisible by any other number other than 1 and itself so if I uh, run this program see our output 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 so these all are prime numbers between 2 to 100 so this is a beginner approach it's not an optimized code so in next in my next tutorial uh, we will talk about uh, most optimized uh, algorithm which is C's algorithm to print all prime numbers so this uh, uh, this approach is useful for understanding uh, 
how we are checking whether a number is prime or not uh, it's also useful for Wigner's so in this way uh, so the, the other <coughs> important reason to discuss this approach is uh, is when we optimize this approach in next uh, tutorial you will understand that the time complexity for this approach is is <coughs> is not uh, good so that's it for uh, this video and for more such video tutorials don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel or you, and you can visit our website which is webrewrite.com and thanks for watching this video tutorial and uh, have a nice day